Hi, my name is Maciej Binkowski, I'm lead game designer for Dying Light. Today, I'd like to show you a brand new gameplay for our upcoming expansion, Dying Light The Following. With this expansion, we want to introduce a new massive map, customizable buggies, new weapons and new mechanics. This is also the first time we're showing Dying Light The Following in co-op. Alright, let's take a look. This is the countryside, a map bigger than all the areas from the original game combined. Kyle is led to this part of the world by rumors of people who seem immune to the virus. Unfortunately, the people we're dealing with are very close, so in order to get any information from them, we need to show goodwill. In this particular situation, we're informed that the groundwater has been contaminated. The community sent their people to fix the problem, but they never came back. If we can help them out, they might be willing to talk with us. Countryside is vast and it's not safe to travel by foot, so we're gonna take our buggies for a ride. Our buggy is not just a mean of transportation, it's an essential tool for survival and pretty awesome weapon. By the way, it's also fully customizable. You can change its looks, so uh, liveries and paint jobs, but also add interesting modifications, like an electric cage which you'll be able to observe later. Now, to get access to these toys, you need to level up your driving skill tree. You get driving points for performing actions with your buggy like speeding, smashing zombies and jumping off ramps and so on. When you get enough points, you level up and you get a skill point that you can spend on various unlocks. Okay, so we arrived at the pumping station. Now let's just get rid of the zombies. And here's a perfect example of how our cage works. There you go. Pretty sweet and useful thing. That's also one of our new weapons. And not so new, but still very cool, dropkick. Alright, let's just kill these guys. Okay, so now we can talk with whoever is in charge around here. I'm over here, friend. Every new customer is a blessing. You're actually selling something out Water. here? Water, crystal clear, no diarrhea afterwards. Tastes as if an angel stepped on your tongue, huh? One gallon for ten pounds of food. We accept gold as well. Ten pounds of food for water? What, are you gonna start charging for air too? Oh, we got us a haggler. Look down there, punk. See that? That's Roscoe. We turn hagglers over to him. Still want to haggle, huh? Tell you what, though. I might let you trade your ride for some water. Oh, fuck you, asshole. So be it. All right, boys. So, the bandits didn't want to cooperate, so we're gonna do it the painful way. And that's a great opportunity to show you one of our new guns. We look closely at what our community wants. You guys wanted more guns? We're happy to deliver. Alright, now let's shoot it. SMG is only one of the new cool weapons. This is my personal favorite, the crossbow. And now that everyone's dead, we can head inside. Dying Light the following also introduces new variants of enemies. Like this guy. As you can see, he's wearing a bulletproof armor, so it's not that simple to kill him. But we're in co-op, we're gonna cooperate, stagger. 
And precise headshot. Okay. So let's help that dude. Jazir sent me. Well, Eski did. You're one of the three who got lost? The only one left. I am Ali. They got thrown to that... that beast. Okay, listen, Ali, this place has to be at least sort of operational. Otherwise, the bandits wouldn't have had any water. The bandits have water here, but there is none at the farm. Perhaps we can redirect it. All right, so now we should be able to send water back to the farm. It's not working. Why is it not working? Oh, shit. But nothing's ever that simple. Shit. Apparently, there's a problem with water pressure. It's fucking ancient. If the pipes burst, we are all well and truly fucked. I'll get the valve and as Ali poetically noted, if the pipes burst, we're truly in deep trouble. The, pipeline. For fuck's sake, hurry. the clock is ticking. We've got to fix this as soon as possible. We're going to run back to our rides. One of our buggies was a bit low on fuel, so this time around, both of us gonna ride in a single buggy. The buggy offers certain level of protection, but it doesn't make you invincible. You still have to watch out for exploding bombers. As you can see, virals can be dangerous too. Drift, brake, and smash the environment to get rid of them. It is also important to watch your fuel gauge, because being stuck in the open probably won't end well. If you need gas, you can retrieve it from cars abandoned in the countryside. By the way, as you hit obstacles and zombies, the parts in your ride wear off. So eventually, you'll need to repair them or exchange for better ones. Oh yeah, I'm at some kind of pipeline station. The pipeline ends here. Okay, we're at the pumping station now to stop the leakage. The water level is already rising, so we gotta hold our breath. Okay, job well done. Ali, I got it. But the place was already flooded, so now what? We just we just wait? Yes. Now it should just be a matter of time. So we're good? We're better than good. I think you just saved all our asses. Get back to the farm. I'll tell Jasir you're all right. You know, for a stranger. Now, we could head back to the farm, but we have a random encounter. Let's check that out. The only problem is, while we were inside, it got dark. And let me tell you, the night in the following, it's even scarier than in the base game. Fear not, we've got new toys to counter that. One of my personal favorites, the flamethrower. And one more zap from the electric cage. And some help from our shotgun. All right, here we are. The last thing to do is to retrieve the package and go home safely. Or not. Yeah. 
And that's it. That's Dying Light the following. It's coming out worldwide on February 9th. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.